Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. We are jumping in once again and we have something special. Also, our streak is still alive even though we died. We died to a bug, so it's still alive. It's still living. It's still breathing. Regular Samson this time. Okay, okay. It's Samson time once again. Uh, but yeah, something special this episode. Uh, we have installed a new mod that is called, very cryptically, The Future. Um, and that is a mod that is going to add a whole new floor to the game. We got the boiler recently, which is a different version of Downpour. Uh, but this isn't like that. This is actually a challenge floor, I think they called it. Which essentially, I think, apparently it can appear on the mines or the caves. Um, essentially, we can find, potentially a room that will send us to another floor and the floor's got some real wacky stuff going on apparently. I don't really know what to expect um, so we're just gonna get into it and see what's what um, and hope for the best but it looks really really cool it seems to be themed around um, the most what was what's the game that Edmund made? The end is nigh or and, and like gish it seemed to be sort of themed around that was a really bad hit of damage there look that was another really bad hit of damage there do you know what we're doing great so far i'm just stacking damage i'm just stacking damage people it's all intentional it's just just for the damage don't worry about it we just we just want the extra damage for the first floor of course of course why else would i do this why else I'll tell you what i don't like i don't like the pooter going over the top of the rocks, but luckily he was cleaved in twain very swiftly. As for the question of the day today, hmm, shall we think of a good one? Shall we think of a good one? Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, botfly is pretty good. Um, hmm, hmm, I'm deep in thought now. What? What is my question of the day today? My question of the day today is, how do I not die on this room with such low health? <laughs> such foolish gambits. Hmm, I've not got a great one today. Maybe maybe I'll uh, scoot on over to ChatGPT and see if it's got one for me. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Because I don't remember any off the top of my head today. So maybe ChatGPT can provide us with what we need. Let's have a little look-see. If you could have a conversation with your younger self, what would you say? That's a pretty decent one. That's a pretty decent one, I'd say. Some explosions going on. Ooh, a golden key. Um, I don't think that's very valuable, to be honest, but nice to have. Nice to have. Probably a few floors too early, but hey her. I think for me, I, I used to be, I, I used to have like, I, wanna, I don't even know if it's a phobia or what, but I used to be quite sort of worried about being an adult and having to like go to work and get a job and be a functioning member of society. I, I, I specifically went to university because it was going to delay me having to get a job for a few years. That's like the main reason I went to university. Um, and I think it'd just be telling myself that like, it's not that bad, <laughs> and in fact, education is like way. I won't say I won't say way worse, but like I am like so happy to be not in education anymore. Like I did enjoy my time in education, but like now I don't have to do exams, and like I have I, I, like less stress. I suppose it depends on the job you have to whether you have less stress or not. Obviously, but for me, I have less stress. Um, yeah, it's just like. It's, it's good. It's all good. Even when I was at like a, a, a more like manual job where I did more hours um, when I was working at like a shop, still wasn't that bad. Like it was just like you clock in, you clock out, you get your job done. That's pretty much it. Didn't really mind it all that much. Oh god, going down to the next floor now and our damage getting lower is going to be kind of sad. There you go, a bit of a tears up, a bit of a shot speed up. And I think we are out of this floor already. But yeah, we're gonna try and go caves here and hope we get this new floor. I don't know how like likely this new floor is to show up. It did say a chance. So I would imagine not super likely. Okay, be careful of these gooses. 
I don't know what happened to that other guy there, but he just kind of died. Does bot fly do, do uh, contact damage? Can I, like, hit enemies with the bot fly to do some damage to them? Because, obviously, on enemies that don't shoot, he is kind of useless. He does do a bit of damage. Okay, it's, it must be a very small amount. I wouldn't imagine it's a lot. But it's, it's kind of nice to know. I should probably try and take out these guys first, because they're only going to create issues for me. There you go. Ooh, you've set yourself ablaze. Oh, you chased me? What? Okay. <laughs> Wasn't aware of that. I thought he was just moving around randomly. My bad. Still, even though I've had Fiend Foley on for this long, there's still so many things that I either get wrong or just outright do not know. I am a goose. But yeah, it would definitely be sort of, like, giving myself a better understanding of what, like, adult life will be. And I understand that, like, not everyone's gonna have a similar situation to me. I, I've i genuinely, like, just been quite lucky in life. I'll, I'll, like, fully admit that. Um, ooh, time itself. Enemies that are multi can be shot through doubling tiers. Nice. Uh, I'd like to get a bomb to get through there. But yeah, this is a pretty good item. I like it. We've got some good items so far, really. Um... Yeah, um, I'll, I'll definitely fully admit that I've been, uh, I've been pretty lucky in life. Um, like, I was able to, um, I, like, obviously I was able to go to uni university for starters, but I was able to stay at home, so I was able to save money on that. And then, out, like, I, I already had a girlfriend before university, so after university I was able to move uh, in with my girlfriend pretty much straight after that. Then I got a, a pretty decent job after a year of being here, um through my girlfriend knowing people. And it's, it's, it's been reasonably smooth sailing. Reasonably smooth sailing. Um, which, yeah, I'm gonna say, not many people can say, so I do realize that I am in a privileged state right now. I mean, certainly uh, would like to be making more money, mainly just because the UK right now is becoming a hellhole. Everything costs way too much. Um, but other than that, I'm reasonably, I, I, I'm gonna say I'm not not happy with what I make, but it could definitely be better. <laughs> but hopefully within the next six months it will be better because at my job I've taken on a hell of a lot more responsibility recently. Uh, someone left the company and I have basically absorbed most of their role right now uh, as, long, uh, as well as doing all the stuff I normally do. So I would like to be compensated for that at some point. But um, I, I work at a startup company so it's like... There isn't a lot of money going around, so I, especially as one of the sort of, I, I'm, t I'm not really one of the founding members, but I, am, I didn't actually found the company in terms of like putting money in to start it up, but I was one of the first people, like one of the first people that worked at the company sort of thing. So it's like, I feel like I can, I can ask it, but I'd, I also don't want to sort of deprive the money, the company of money that it sort of needs to keep running day to day at this moment in time but eventually we'll get to it it's not something i'm in a super rush to get it's kind of funny how uh we got time itself and then we possibly be going to a floor called the future that's similarly themed kind of intriguing oh i do not i do not like this i like the fact that it gives us the doubling effect but also it essentially gives us uh, like a small chance to pierce it's kind of like the cern bond item in a way Okay, not bad, not bad. Plenty of keys right now. Plenty of keys. Let's keep it moving, shall we? I will take a pill. Hey, it's a luck upgrade. Beautiful. What's a beautiful day for a luck upgrade? Sadly, no bomb for that, um... That, what's it called? Crawl space. That would have been quite nice, but... Hey ho. Hey ho. I was hoping to be able to dodge all of those, but... Alas, I could not. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, they do work with this item. I didn't expect that. I, th I See, one thing I'm unsure of is it doubles the tiers that pass through them, but does it deal... Once they've been, like, made into one of those enemies that doubles tiers, do the tiers that pass through them deal double damage to them, or do they only deal double damage to enemies they hit thereafter? I think they deal double damage to that enemy as well, you know. It seems like it. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, oh, that was such a stupid hit. Okay, we're all good. We got a devil deal. Will I take a devil deal here? 
Yeah, I will. Oh, it's Wrath. I will always take Wrath. Wrath is my baby. Very good. Um, and we will just go to the next floor, yeah. Cool. Cooly cool cool. We have entered the caves. So, caves is the floor where we can see this thing. Ooh. Wrath is interesting with this. I also just love the sound effects of Wrath. So satisfying. I, I see, I, I swear like I see Wrath all the goddamn time. It's an item that I, I, I come across fairly often. It's only a 30% damage increase overall, so it's not a crazy, crazy good item. But, like, I just, like, visually it's so, like, interesting. And, yeah, there's some crazy shit going on right now. Okay, I just lost my half a soul heart here. Let's be wary, shall we? Let's be wary. Need to remember not, not all my tears have piercing. I played that as if I had piercing there, and I do not. Little bit scary. Oh my god, yeah, this is crazy. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Ooh, these little mushrooms are, like, horrible. They, they, they jump at you at such, like, ferocious speeds. Ferocious? Ferocious. Ferocious? Ferocious. It's definitely ferocious, right? I just said that really weird. I don't know. I do that sometimes. Give me that penny. Give me that penny. Right. I, I'm not that bothered about keeping my uh, my deal alive, but it would be nice. Ooh, this is actually a good room for this. Um, I don't know how likely it is that I can push it over in the right direction, mind you. Oh, dude, don't, don't keep bouncing that way. There's a goddamn tinted rock up here. One of the sinister rocks, whatever you want to call them. But... Oh, there you go. Got him. Oh, really? It gave me a single bomb? I mean, I realise it didn't. It wasn't charged up at all, but it could have given me something better than a single bomb. All right, now we've got to try and get the mushrooms. Okay. I'm outie. We'd get a bomb, though, which we've been sort of wanting. Do the, are the wrath shots affected by my range? Because... Some of them seem to be, like, phasing out really quickly. Okay, I want to keep my distance from this guy. I think they're just hitting that mushroom, you know. Ooh, we got enough of the shop now as well, and plenty of, uh, cashola to play with. Okay, hit him with a few of those. Lovely. Got him. And an extra bomb as well. Extra bomb to boot. But yeah, I want to explore all of these floors. Like, everywhere. Because I, I don't know what this what this extra floor is we're looking for. I don't know how we navigate to it. I don't know, like, if it's, like, a different trap door or just a chance on exiting this floor. But I'm assuming it'll be some sort of special room that we can find. And I don't know if it'll be listed on the map. It, it, it did say on the uh, description of the mod that it's got uh, minimap API support, so maybe it does. What's what's going on with my wrath shots? Not, not like making it to their target. They're also like not targeting the right pe things. Maybe it's something to do with time itself, slightly buggering things up. Good. Thank you, Rubber uh, Fly, for helping me out a ton here. The knockback is a little scary, I've got to admit. Floor bosses and mini bosses increase HP, but also drop more health on death. If, it, if they drop soul hearts, that could be good. I don't know if they do. Um, the Bible isn't very good, but honestly, it's flight, and flight is pretty useful. Um, I mean, in a room like this, we can get some stuff back here. And obviously, if we keep it long enough, it is a mum kill, and it is a book. It's like, it's it's all good, man. It's all good. 
There's, there's a, a lot of rooms where this could be useful. Right, careful for the golden bomb. I say it ain't going away. Got to be ready and raring to go when that thing's about. Now, this is a room I really do not like. Ooh, I got a, a nickel out of that guy. I say I could easily, easily lose my devil deal here. Not that I'd care that much because I don't really want to trade HP away at this point. But you never know how much HP I could get throughout the whole of this floor. Okay, so it's actually worth opening these guys because they both gave us a nickel. They both gave us a nickel. Nice. I respect it. Thank you, thank you. Almost enough for another item already. You got triple shot. Oh god, you don't do any animation when you fire. That's really off-putting. Oh no, you do. It's just very, very subtle. Really don't like these guys. But good. What I can do is I can hit him to push him forward enough to target me so that I can kill him. Good, good, good. Dealt with. Do you know what? In a room like this, we're going to get two charges back. Just play it safe. Use flights so I can sit over the gap. Be careful of the grimaces. When there's so little space to walk around, it's nice to have the ability to fly. I'm going to say, the Bible still being a four-room charge is a bit iffy. Like, it used to be a six-room charge and it was basically useless. Four-room charge is definitely a lot better than it used to be, but I still think it could be a three-room charge, really. I think three room charge would make it reasonable, but not strong. Because I don't think it should be strong because of its other abilities it has. Wait, what? So I think what happened there is that enemy was an explosive champion type. But because I, because of the time itself effect, the shader, I wasn't able to see that. That's kind of annoying. Oh, there's a soul heart. This is why we need flight. At least I get enough charges to get my flight. Ares is not very good, but thank you. Um, is there a is there a button somewhere in here? No? So where's what's the white keys then? I'm I'm confused by that. Do you know what? I'm gonna pick up the soul heart now. I know that I should just fly and grab it, but I'm a lazy bastard. I'll come back to this room if I can be bothered. There is a lucky penny in there, so it's definitely worth coming back. Let's go do this other room first. This is going to be a, a slow couple of floors, though, here. Like I said, because we just want to explore everything, just in case. We don't have the magic 1.85 speed necessary to, to cheese the uh, curse room. If you didn't know, if you have Ares and exactly 1.85 speed, you can get into Cash Rooms without taking damage. It's very strange. It doesn't work on any other speed. Do you know what? This room, I'm going to go and use another bomb to get that other Lucky Penny. Because I really just can't be asked investing the time to walk all the way back. It's just not... I just can't be bothered. I've got enough bombs to waste one. It'd just be too long of a trek to go all the way back for a single pip of charge. To come all the way back, to go all the way back again. It's like I've got decent speed now, but still, I would rather spend two bombs than, than spend the necessary extra time. Uh, as well, as like sort of sunk cost fallacy. I'd already spent one bomb doing that, so why not just spend the other one? We have two luck now, though. That's good. It's pretty good to get that early on. Early on. Yeah, I'm really hoping we see this new floor, but I mean, we'll see it eventually if we don't see it today. But it'd be nice to see it today, because the mod literally came out like 15 minutes ago. So it'd be cool to showcase it the hour of it coming out. Although I say that, this video will release like in three days, so technically it won't, but you know what I mean. I do be backlogging videos recently. This guy's an absolute pain in the ass. How much health do you have, lad? There you go. 
Okay, so no nothing this floor, but there's always next floor. So he did just get a HP increase. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. This guy either... I'm just really weak or this guy got a insane HP increase. This trinket better give us some mad HP. I have to try it out, though, because it said drops more health, but... Oh, do you, know, do you know what? Let's pop flight so we don't have to worry about the creep. Um, But it could mean soul hearts as well. You never know. And it's like, it's this is slow going, but he's not a particularly hard boss, so it's basically just a war of attrition. It's just keeping it up for as long as we can. I love this Respite Omega Fatty, by the way. He looks so much more grotesque. I'll be honest, though, I forget how, how like, how many of the vanilla sprites look, because I've been using the uh, Respites for so long. But this one is a particularly good one. He just looks so grotesque. Especially like the blood around his neck. We'll get in there, but yeah, definitely... Oh, what a hit. Definitely adds a lot of HP. I can't believe that hit me. I mean, it ups our damage, which is nice. That's our soul heart gone, though, so it better drop some soul hearts. It gave us a burn heart. I'm... Oh, that was so stupid. I took those in the wrong order. I'm reasonably happy with that. It gave us a burn heart. Anyways, got good HP now. Let's keep it moving and grooving. Keep it moving along, man. Remember, we don't have flight all the time. Don't get used to having flight, because we don't always have flight. Okay. Hopefully we can get some actual damage up, because obviously having damage on getting hit is nice while we get hit, but we're not always going to be getting hit. Once I find a red heart, I will go to that cash room, because for one, I want to go to it anyways, and for two, it would be really nice to get two hits of damage locked in to have some extra damage myself. We'll hope to find a red heart to make that work. I'm having a hard time hitting this guy. Just a wee penny. <gasps> Planetarium? That was unexpected. Very unexpected and a 1% chance. I wonder what we'll get. Will it be Mars? It'll be Mars or Soul. It's always fucking Mars or Soul. No, it was Terra. Hell yes. Terra's awesome. Terra is a pretty decent damage up. It's actually a bit of a better damage up than it looks like because your uh, tiers can be slightly higher or slightly lower than what your damage value says they are. Although, unfortunately, weirdly, our time itself tiers don't seem to count as rocks. Like, we're having a small chance to, like, not be able to break rocks here, which is weird. Oh, no, they, they do. These rocks are just a bit jank, I think. I am spending a bit of time mining out rocks here for the crawl space. Because also... Who knows? Maybe this uh, entrance to the other floor is a crawl space. I really have no idea. I doubt it, but it could be. Uh, also, let's... Um, is it flying in? Fl flying in reduces damage, doesn't it? Not flying out. Okay, unfortunately, pretty bad room here for us. I even got hit. Lovely. Got a bomb out of it. And two hits of damage. Let's not lose our burn heart, though. So this guy has more HP as well. But we got a burn heart last time, so we know we can get other hearts other than just red hearts. Oh yeah, our damage is feeling a lot better. That was very close to me getting hit there and me losing my burn heart. That would have been pretty tragic. Oh, I lost my burn heart. God damn it. My bad. I always forget how this boss works now, where they like bonk off of each other. Like, if they collide, they go flying. My bad. Okay, we got a trinket out of this guy. No extra, um, no extra HP drop from him though, which is slightly upsetting. Lego stud. Lego stud. Ooh, we got some extra damage from the Lego stud. Nice. Ooh, the, the aura also changes color. That's really cool. 
Probably unintended, but cool nonetheless. Oh, you bastard of a shit. I just lost my devil deal chance to a fucking mushroom. By the way, that was a good mushroom there. I managed to poison every single one of these dudes. Bad way to lose it, though. Bad way to lose it. Okay. Just tell ourselves we were going to lose it anyways, and then it'll make me happier. I found pills and ate them. No crawl space as of yet. Nice bit of extra coinage there. Thank you, thank you. Am I going to bother destroying all the rocks in this room? It would take a while. I might come back to it. I don't know. Can my, uh, can my wrath shots destroy rocks? I think, yeah, they can. Because it just destroyed that wall behind us. That's pretty useful. That's pretty get pretty damn good, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow, all spiders. So many gosh darn spiders. Empress. D12. Anything in there that's looking good to us? Not really. Sad times. It doesn't look like we got the sh the uh, the special floor this time around. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, it's nice that our wrath shots can also destroy rocks. They're just going to be destroying rocks here, here, there, and everywhere for us as they pass through them. It's a fun run. We've got some interesting stuff going on. I like it. I'm loving my, uh... My little robo baby dude. Robo fly. He's doing a real good job of defending me. Is this one makes you large? I'm pretty sure that, that guy drops the one makes you large, doesn't he? Um, unfortunately nothing great here. This could be something good though. Fortune, I forget what Fortune does. Invokes the D7 effect. Yeah, why not? Why not? Golden Penny is unexpected, but pretty lovely. Who ever thought of a Golden Penny in a shop? Yeah, I'd still rather keep what I've got going on in this, in this here room though. There you go, extra key. And we get ourselves the golden teleporter. Hmm. Golden teleporter, you say? I will take the golden teleporter. I quite like it. Because I've got ability to get to secret rooms very easily, which enables me to get my devil deals and so forth. I mean, this one will just give us boss trap room to start, but boss trap room is pretty good to me. is the frail with extra HP. Should have brought the Empress in here. Would have been useful. It is frail too, electric boogaloo. They definitely have quite a lot more HP. It's about, I think it's about 25% more by the looks of it. Got him. So we can take that. Let's take extra damage. Let's look at our map. So this will take us to here, which is good stuff. We get the flakes of gold, which I actually quite like. It makes that trinket gold, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. We also didn't get extra hearts out of that guy.
don't know how I didn't get hit there, I'll be honest. It's you, hello. I like you. As a boss, you're, you're kind of tricky, but I like you. Oh, dude. Did that just double my bomb? I think it doubled my bomb. It at least added the effect to my bomb. I like it. Nice. Beautiful. Right, and then I think if we go to our second secret room, we had a Magus card, which drops two batteries. I think. I think, I think, I think. And that can take us to our devil deal. And then our set next battery will take us to the error room. So it's going to be a slow play, this one. But I actually really enjoy... This is like one of the only times where I ever min-max is when I get um, the golden teleporter. Oh, so, so we've actually got one of these first. We'll use that first. Um, and we'll take this. We'll pop this. So will take us into here. I'm going to take multi-dimensional baby just for the theming of this run. Just because it seems like an interesting idea to have the ability to double, double our shots. And we come out of here. We um, use the Magus here. We get another battery charge. And this takes the error room. Unfortunately, a very lackluster error room here. Although, saying that... Ah, it was only a normal penny. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, next floor. Sadly, no new floor thus far. But it is what it is. Don't shoot that guy. Oh, I've already done it. And yeah, we'll try our best to get uh, enough battery charges to make use of... Uh... Look at you. To make use of our uh, active more. Strength is pretty good to have. Lump of coal, lovely. Love the mod that adds uh, new pools to the uh, new pools to the different chest types, stone chests and the like. Oh, don't, I, I kind of forgot how you guys worked. Lump of Coal is very nice, though. I think Lump of Coal will also affect our Wrath Shots, which, obviously, they travel a bit of extra distance because they go behind us first. But I think they'll get a slightly bigger bonus. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think they will. Oh, dude, what, what's this stringy boy doing? Get him out of here. This enemy can be so annoying to goddamn hit. Chest. One of these battery things. I will take it for when I inevitably need a charge. Haha! <laughs> you were sat over the top of a bomb rock. You dullard. You idiot. Not that people probably care, but I have also been playing a ton more of Battlebit Remastered. I've just, oh, I just love that game so much. It's just like one of the best FPSs. By the way, if anyone is like 18 plus and would like to play that game with me, like join my Discord and let me know because I am definitely looking for people to play it with um, and it would be quite fun. I only say 18 plus because it would just make me more comfortable <laughs> as a 25 year old man. <laughs> It would just make me slightly more comfortable. But it would be fun if anyone out there is playing it or would like to play it. It's, it's very cheap. It's only £12, which is like $15, I think. Um, and it's a, like if you like FPS games, especially if you like Battlefield, it is a damn good one. And I don't have anyone to play it with at the moment. I'm playing it solo, so I would certainly be down to clown with anyone that wants to play. Uh, right. Open this up. Chaos, baby. Oh, yes. You haven't tempted me with a chaos in quite some time. 
It has been a hot minute since we've had some chaos. I do love it. There is never a time where I won't want to take chaos. So much money at the minute. Oh, we need to we need to also be vigilant about our secret rooms because that's part of uh, how Golden Teleporter works. So let's uh, try and find that. There's one. Oh, there's a chest there. Just two pennies is all I need. Thank you. Right. Uh, other secret room. Not either of those. Quickly just check this room as well. Can't be there. I don't think it can be behind the grimaces. I'm pretty sure it can't be. No, it definitely can't be. I always forget with this that I can just bomb my way out of rooms. I'll shoot my way out of rooms, should I say. I also need to go to the curse room too. So I'm going to have to waste a, a soul heart if I, if I want to do that. There you go. God, it's a really annoying room. It's taking forever. Okay, this guy doesn't explode, I don't think. Look at that, destroying all the mushrooms. Ow. Oh, it gave me a soul heart back. Thank you. I need that for the cash room. Bombs. Thank you much, Lee. Got you as well. Still need, like, an actual, like, real bit of damage up. Like, Terra's been good, but, like, we're getting a lot of our damage off of being hit at the moment, and that's not how I want most of my damage to come from. Item room, I forgot we hadn't seen you yet. Ooh, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. It's also a look upgrade, which I'm pretty happy about as well. God damn, my money is off the charts right now. It's crazy. Oh, dude, this guy is fast as shit. Oh, and he's telefraggy. Don't like. Don't like, don't like, don't like. We are killing some things pretty fast, and then Lump of Coal, if we can get it to work, does a pretty good job of helping out. Just a mini boy. Little Tyke. More keys. And last room before we have to do Cash Room, I think. Yep. We can just push him onto the spikes, right? There you go. Beautiful. Most of the cash rooms are just finding by accident. It doesn't say if it does anything being gold, but... I'm still going to take it anyways. Part of, an additional part of a challenge here. Right, cash room. I know I'm going to waste soul heart for this, but... I'm hoping I get one back. Wow. Oh, and we left all that money in there as well. Not that we need it exactly, but still. Not the point. Right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me with this boss. I, I absolutely hate this boss. I would say absolutely hate. I find this boss tedious as shit. He's annoying with the extra HP as well, but as you can clearly see, we are fucking demolishing him right now. Holy hell. Is that because of multi-dimensional baby? That was crazy. Good, good. Synth oil is even more damage. I love that. Um, 
don't think I want either of those. Sadly, our battery isn't here. It'd be great if we could push that out the door. Oh, we go straight to the error room. No problem. Petrified poop real quick here. Nice. Even more money. Good, good. The big shit. Not a bad error room there. Not a bad error room. Right, down we go. Good stuff, good stuff. What the hell was that noise? It was like an electric noise I arrived on this floor. Ooh, hello. Um, I think we should prob probably pay into the Stargazer. We have a ton of money. And these guys can pay out pretty handsomely. Blank rune. Oh shit, that, it was our battery being corrupted. I forgot about that. You can't take them to the next floors with you. Is he going to blow up? I'm just going to move this to another room before I, like, crap myself. Hey, and we got soul as well. Of course we got soul. Okay, um, this guy, actually, let's pay this guy out at the end of the floor. Once we need the battery charges. Ooh, there you go. Crawl space on our first rock destroyed. But we should pay him out to try and get like a 9 volt or something. So that would be very useful. This is good for us because it hurts us. And it uh, could pay out with some good stuff. I don't like the fact that it's on top of the crawl space though. Could it, could it not? There you go. We got it. Good, good. That upside damage for this floor wasn't a particularly good payout. It's also not a particularly good payout there either. Oh uh, well. Oh, dude, we are killing it right now. And we are getting extra hearts. We just unfortunately aren't getting the burn heart and soul hearts I was hoping for. This is actually a pretty good setup to have um, thingy, you know, uh, extra knockback. I'm, I, I am liking the bosses having extra health, though. I don't know why. It's just kind of fun. Um, but we, we've, I just realized we've got enough damage to knock the head straight off of those um, grimace guys. What are they called? Not grimaces. You know what I mean. Do this. Pull the card out of there. Devil Disc doing some good stuff for us. So if I've managed to go to every room apart from the uh, boss trap, that's always going to be an issue for us, of course. Another full card there. Yeah, I am. I am kind of in love with this run right now. This run's a lot of fun. We've got the spider egg item. I didn't realize that was a devil, a devil item. Even more money. We're one off spurred as well, actually. Actually, wait. Shouldn't we already have spurred? Because we have um, Ares as well. Or maybe it's four. Another Eternal Heart as well. Will not say no to that. Wait, we've got Freezer Baby as well. Oh, we've got Chaos. Chaos makes the discs change how they work. Wait, so that beggar pay... Wait, so this is confusing. That The beggar paying out with um, Soul is either really lucky or like hard-coded. And we also got a syringe from the boss too. We did get glass eye from the item room, though, I suppose. That's not normal. I kind of forgot we had chaos. Little Brim chilling in a in a secret room. Little Brim in a secret room. Still need to find a second secret room, though, of course. Don't know if we'll use a little brim all that much. I locked in. I got him. Whew. 
and toy drum. Not bad, not bad. Wow, so positive. It's so funny how that happens sometimes. Like, a new player would be so confused by that. It's just because a troll bomb has a small chance to replace a regular bomb. So it was positive because it actually gave me a regular bomb, but... It confused the game. Do you want to come over here, little buddy, and uh, enter my ring of souls? There's a black heart for us. We've got enough keys. I can't be asked walking the few inches to grab that one. Right. Have we done boss rushes this guy? We haven't. Oh, we're, we're, we're missing boss rush by a mile. Will it teleport us into boss rush though? Is that technically a missed room? Is that how that works? With golden teleporter? I don't know if it is. Here's our shop. Shop has the Cracked Infamy. I'm not bothered about Cracked Infamy. Um, nah. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Blood Earth is really good for us. Blood Earth is really good for us. So that deals like all the damage to us. There's another item over there as well. I didn't even see that one. We roll in deep here. Apparently it's got fixed, so I can actually take it and it not be completely broken now, so that's nice. We waste out on mysterious liquid. Um Yeah. And we get ourselves consumes one key pair use, drops a uh content drops content of random chest. Kind of an interesting idea, but I'm really happy with the active I have right now. That was a good shot, though. Really good shot. Also, by the way, um, the 3D glasses are kind of insane now, because that's yet another item that has a, gives us a chance to fire double the amount of tears. All we need now is, like, Bookworm and 2020, and then we've got all the doublings. Right, so we're good to go. I think we are. So I have no idea how much health this big girl's going to have. This is good. We have created something quite gorgeous here. So now we want to grab Polaroid. Then we teleport into the boss trap room. Which gives us... Damn it. I didn't go to the second secret room. You fool. I mean, that's not actually a big problem because we have a battery bum. That should give us enough to do what we need to do. I hope. It could pay out really quick, but when do battery bombs ever pay out quick? I mean, the time where I need it not to is probably the time it won't, and it'll just pay out straight away. Completely forgot I hadn't been to the second secret room. We've got three rooms to go to, so I'm hoping this guy sticks around for a good while. We've also not got a ton of money. I didn't really f remember about the fact that we need money. What does this do again? Um, corroded. Activate to store charge from your active item. Activate again to recharge it. Okay. Um, nah, it's fine. We're getting one use out of it at least. It's not an item I want exactly, but I'll, I'll just do this anyways. Because I, I want the charges. <clears throat> Look at this. This run's absurd now. So many things comboing together. It's crazy. It's blue. That's why I love Wrath. It just it can work so well. It can create such crazy runs. So then we only need one more charge for the devil deal. Oh my god. We got the angel wing. 
And honestly, Crackling, yeah, these, these are just too good. Right, now we've got to hope we can get a full charge off of five coins, which I doubt. <gasps> Almost. Okay, we need, we need like a tiny bit more. A tiny, tiny little bit more. Um, what could we possibly get to do this? I suppose the pills could be 48 or energy, right? Hmm. We need one pip of a charge. Basically, we need a way to find some money. Like, only a tiny bit of money. My first stop is to go to the shop and see what we can get in terms of breaking things. Also, this angel wing item is real good. If we double tap, don't we do like an... Yeah, there you go. We do like an angel attack. That could be enough. Oh, we got... Okay, we got four pennies. That should be enough. That should be enough for an error room. On our way back. Yeah, if we double tap, we do an angel attack. We do, we do also throw out that cable, which I'm not particularly happy about. It just latches us to enemies. I don't, I don't want to be tethered to anything. Right, please have these four let you pay out with one more charge. Come on now. Yes! Ah, oh, this was kind of not worth it. <laughs> Ooh, look at the colour of our fires. Like purple and stuff. Is that our 3D glasses fires? Not terrible. Overall, the error rooms have been kind of dookie. That was a really good machine, though. What the hell? Right. Down we go. What an interesting run this has been. We're having a, some very slow runs recently, but yeah. Getting hit here increases our damage a good amount. It's a little bit scary with our current HP, but overall, I think it's fine. So, 3D glasses haven't really been fixed. They've been fixed a bit, but when you're, when you're actually using a brimstone beam, they are still a bit broken. Now, this is a floor where we probably can't get error room, sadly. Because we've got the cash room here and not really the health to get in there. We can find a full card, we can teleport in and teleport out. But I don't think I want to scrounge around these whole floors and do all that crap. Gotta be careful of polyps here. Yeah, so if we brimstone, it's still, like, real broken. Like, real broken. But otherwise... Oh, dude. How the fuck am I meant to not get hit in that situation? Am I gonna die because of this bullshit? Please say no, because... I don't want to die to, um, the game being unfair. Puzzle. I guess I'll take the Dark Rock. <sighs> the fucking Tether, I don't... I, I want to use my, um, I want to use my Angel powers, but... I really don't want to tether myself to enemies. It's it's causing me more problems than it's worth. Dude, how the how the f did that enemy like fucking stick to me like that? I was like pulling him along with me. Get out of here. Not very happy I took blood earth anymore. Ooh. Um
That's it. This is like a saving grace right here. That, that was awesome. That was very lucky. <laughs> Good item to find right there. Okay, I put myself in a way, way, way more secure position now. Dude. 3D glasses. Why you like my game so much? Doesn't help that we took the molten slag as well, which is... Or crackling slag, I think it's called, which is kind of insane. This game's lagging so much. It's worth it though, because this is just hilarious. Sadly, we got Unicorn Stump there. Mongo, baby. How dare you? How dare you? Right, away we go. Sadly, this isn't going to do all too much to help us. I'm going to hold fire for now and not use my angel powers as to not fire a beam of misery that will lag out the game. Also, why is my fire rate so low? It says, it says I have 2.54 fire rate, but this feels lower than that. Maybe I'm just incorrect. Maybe this is 2.54. Why didn't the other enemy uh, die like that? Why didn't he, like, spoo out his body children? Sometimes they just evaporate, I guess. What might you hold for us? A three room? Nah. A third puzzle piece. Puzzle oh, that's a pretty fucking good one, actually. Nice. More fire. Not quite the same fire, but more fire. I heard a heart drop. What? Why did you spawn three of those? That's so strange. Three boom flies rather than two laser eyes. I've, I don't think I've ever seen you do that before. I risked it with the brimstone beam. It worked out. It's all good. I already got lump of coal. My guy, I've already got it. Cramparino's head, it's good, but even this active's not very good for us anymore. I'm still gonna take it. Right, to the next floor. Yeah, this has just been craziness. We had a few crazy runs in a row, really, haven't we? For a hot second, then, I was about to say, what the hell just hit me? You fool. You idiot. My feathery vengeance will kill you off. So much fire. Things are going well though. Um, can't get any of those um, what fires. Ooh, this is a this is a dip room on this floor and onwards. If there's a room that we need to dip from, we can. Obviously, on the chest we can't do that, so we've got to take advantage of this floor, like this. If it's a dead end, the way we don't need to go. Just dip the fuck out. Double soul hearts from a tinted rock, I'm guessing. I didn't see the tinted rock, but I'll take your word for it, game. Just keep pushing forward. 
It's like our actual tears don't do all that much damage. Like, the, when the feathers are hitting enemies, they're not dying that fast. But once all the other shit starts hitting, the fires and all the wrath shots, that's when things start to get real. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. And it's boss time. You got your little health buff. Robo baby fella, help me out here. Oh my god. He's taking like no damage at all so far. Does it maybe just give them a bit of boss armor or something? Holy shit. We're starting to pop off now. It's like, it starts really slow, and then as soon as, like, everything starts kicking in, it's like, whoa, baby. Hold up, hold up. I like Nega Isaac. Like, the negative version of Isaac with the, um, what's it called? Uh, the future itself item. Do you know, like, the, in the Scott Pilgrim thing, where it's like, Nega Scott. <laughs> I like it. To the next floor, let's go. Sadly, we only got a burn heart one time. We just got really lucky then. Bloodlust unlocked. Hell yes. And we get ourselves sissy. Hell yes. Champion Bell, pretty happy. Bad. It consumes one red heart, permanently makes Isaac shoot. Yeah, we've had that before, it was really bad. Useful, I guess, if we die. I wonder if they can make you spawn as uh, a modded character or not. You just summoned a bunch of friends on me. Get out of here. Now we do have okay luck. It's only two, but better than nothing, so... Oh, really? So, so stupid of me. I don't even have any need to walk into that guy. That was really dumb. I feel like the boss is almost never this way, but I'm going to stick with it anyways. Oh, hell. Bones, red button entering room, activating random pressure plates, effects... Yeah, no, no way I'm taking that. Random pressure plate effects on this floor. The pressure plate effects that you can get on this floor are tragic. Perthro? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I am not having my like my own knockback. That sounds awful too. To be, to be fair, I should just be using this to... Oh, I was going to say skip rooms, but didn't work out. This is bad. I'm going to get hit here. Yep. See that one coming from a mile away. Ooh. Back to full HP again. And a bit of damage, you. Beautiful. And taking care of things nice and easy. Imagine a synergy like this that played at full frame rate. That's the dream in Isaac. That that is the dream. So all this where will this take me? Okay, this is good. It took me to kind of where I want it to go. I think it just takes me to my next available room. Extra soul heart there. You a rainbow boy? No, you're just a green boy. I thought I saw you. I thought I saw him change color. My brain lied to me. <gasps> it's a bone heart. Actually, that was kind of bad to take. I swapped a black heart for a burn heart, an empty burn heart at that. If we get a red heart, then it's worth it. But otherwise, it not. Oh. 
Oh, you fucking big old bitch. Kill those crabs straight away. Hermit doesn't do anything for us. I told you it wouldn't be that way that I was playing that before. Although I can actually, I forgot I have soul. I can see where the boss is. I should have just looked at that earlier. I, I always forget I have soul. Oh god. I did a laser beam by accident and destroyed the game again. Every time. Every time, I swear. <laughs> Secret room. I was not expecting you, Secret Room. Thank you. Random discount. Ooh, yay. Random discount to shop items. Happy days for us, I guess. Oh my god. Whoa, why did the bombs create some... What the fuck? Okay, so basically, fire at him until he goes into thingy future mode, which apparently is not going to happen. There you go. And then push a bomb into him. No, he pushes it straight back at me. There you go. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the actual fuck? Why are we creating a stone shockwave? Is that, is that terror? Dude, I keep firing the bombs right as he changed into the next phase. It's okay, we got him anyways. We got him. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was a hell of a lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.